All right, guys, what is going on? Jman101 back in the crew, and today we're looking at another DLC car that was just released a couple days ago. It is the 1957. Let me double check. The, yep. Um. Yes, 1957. You wanna? No. Yes, 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Graham, and I mean this. This car is just, I don't know, I'm not sure this car is really meant for this game, but I mean, it's a pretty ridiculous car to have in a game like this. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty insane. I mean, it's a, it's a sled. Look at it. It's massive. This is, so it has two specs, it has the street spec and uh, the perk spec. Uh, this is obviously the street spec. I mean, it's pretty fast for a street spec. I mean, look at it. It's massive. That's what she said. Um, anyway, let's go over this. Wait, is it faster if I go to all cars and go? No, I gotta go through every list. Let's just let this scroll down. So, yeah, this is a car that you get um, if you have the season pass. You get it for free. You obviously gotta buy the two specs, though. But those are, you know, those are the chump chain. This is <laughs> the perf spec of this thing is insane though i mean look at look at this thing there's a, there's a couple other wings you can get like a really high sitting wing um like a huge wing for a lot of downforce um this this thing is this thing is crazy something i didn't actually change on the perf spec but i noticed on the street spec that you can do you can actually change the fenders on this car this is one of the few cars in this game I think, only, I think the only other one is one of the hot rod versions. Um, this is one of the only cars in the game that you can actually change the fenders on. Now, you can do it on the street spec. I didn't check on the perf spec, but I would assume you probably can. Um, but don't hold me to that because you might not be able to. But, I mean, yeah, looking at this car, it's a very, it, it's a pretty fast car for how big it is. The weight doesn't, I mean, obviously the weight feel, you can feel the weight of the car. But it's not, like, I guess it's not overly, um, big as, a, like, a car. Like, it handles a little like an SUV, but also somewhat like a car. It has decent turning, but you can feel the, you can really kind of feel the weight of this car, it being the giant car that it is. I mean, this thing is massive. Let's not kid ourselves here. It's, it's not a small car by any means. It's not a, it's not a... Dotson Fair Lady or anything like that. That's for sure. But it's a really cool car. It's got some crazy exhausts. Like you saw the street spec one with those like those really weird like flattened exhausts. These these the exhausts are like out of the little vents on the bottom sides of the uh, the bumper. And I mean, you can get side uh, whoopsie. You can get side skirts that have exhaust on them. That's what comes stock on the perp spec version. Um you can, I mean, change the front bumper, obviously, you don't need that giant, obnoxious splitter, but I mean, I figured the splitter goes with the spoiler, so why not? I mean, they go hand in hand, look at it. It's just, it's a beast on wheels, like, it's, it's, it's literally a tank. It's a 1957 tank with suicide doors. Yes, it has suicide doors. You can't tell them. Um, so yeah, that's really kind of it. Um, I mean, here's the basic stats for 840, holy crap, that's more horsepower than, like, most of the cars. Holy cow, I never looked at that, that's a lot more horsepower, that's a train. Okay, where's the train? Found the train. Hit me. Hit the train. Okay, these are the Cadillac wheels, apparently. Boom. Okay. Anyway, that is a lot of horsepower. Like, man, look at the torque. Look at that. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a more than a Celine. Almost as much as Mercedes SL 63 AMG. Ford Raptor. Holy crap, the Raptor has a lot. Never looked at that either. Jeez. Silverado has a lot. Oh my gosh. More than a Lamborghini, not obviously not more than a Koenigsegg. More torque, I think, or right around the same. 
Hummer has Hummer has a lot. That's uh, obviously very apparent. I mean, this thing that thing has one of the highest amount of horsepowers and torque, and it's freaking 1957 Cadillac. Are you kidding me? Like that's insane. I have not done very much with street specs, but um, yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. I just wanted to kind of show off this little car. Um, not obviously not little. Jeez. Yeah. Look, see there, you can see the suicide doors. Um. You can kind of keep it, you can keep it with a very classic sort of look. It's kind of one of those cars that you can kind of get into the game and just go cruise. Like, obviously not, it's not the best handling I could get to stop really fast, but it's just a nice car to go cruise in. That's what I've, sa I've found. It's a very good cruising car because it's not overly fast. It's not nowhere near good at all at braking. Um, it's not overly jittery. It's just a calm, collected little, or big sled of a car that looks pretty insane. It looks cool. These car, these old cars are crazy because they're, the amount of work that went into these cars, the lines, everything. It's, just, it's such a cool car. Um, crazy for this game, that's for sure. They're, Ubisoft is getting antsy waiting for the Wild Run to come out, let me tell you. But uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little look at this car. Um, this is for season pass um, holders, like I said. So if you have the season pass, you get this car. If you don't have the season pass, you should go get it to get this car and the Nissan Fair Lady. And anything else they might add in before the wild one. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please like and subscribe as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.